Princess Alice of the United Kingdom, Grand Duchess of Hesse and by Rhine. Princess Alice Maud Mary of the United Kingdom was born on the 25th of April, 1843, at Buckingham Palace in London, England, the third child and second daughter of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom and Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha. She was named in honor of Viscount Melbourne, Queen Victoria's former Prime Minister. Lord Melbourne had once told the Queen that Alice was his favorite name. Her second name, Maud, a form of Matilda, was in honor of her grandmother, godmother, Princess Sophia Matilda of Gloucester, and her third name, Mary, in honor of Princess Mary, Duchess of Gloucester, Queen Victoria's aunt, with whom she shared a birth. The young Alice was christened on the 2nd of June, 1843, in the newly renovated private chapel at Buckingham Palace by William Howley, Archbishop of Canterbury. Alice's upbringing was typical for the times, spending most of her time with her siblings under the watch of nannies and tutors. She formed very close relationships with her two older siblings, especially her brother Bertie, to whom she would remain very close until her death in 1878. A very artistic child from an early age, Alice developed a deep sense of compassion for others, which would continue to develop in her adult years. In March 1861, Alice's grandmother, the Duchess of Kent, died. Alice had been with her during her final days and established herself as the, quote, family caregiver, end quote. After she passed away, it was Alice whom Prince Albert sent to take care of Queen Victoria, whose intense grief over the Duchess's death was unbearable. The Queen later attributed Alice's efforts with helping her to get through the dark days that followed Sadly, it will not be long until Alice's caregiving skills will be needed again. At the end of the same year, Alice's father, Prince Albert, fell ill with typhoid fever. Alice stayed at his side, nursing him through the last days of his life. Albert died on the 14th of December, 1861, and the Queen went into seclusion. It was Princess Alice who then stepped in as unofficial secretary to her mother, assisted by her younger sister, Princess Louise. Handling all the state papers and correspondence, all while trying to support and comfort their mother, Queen Victoria. The previous year, Alice had became engaged to Prince Ludwig of Hessen by Rhine, the son of Prince Karl of Hessen by Rhine, and his wife, Princess Elizabeth of Prussia. He would later succeed his uncle to become Grand Duke Ludwig IV. After several other prospective grooms were dismissed by the Queen, Alice's sister Victoria suggested Ludwig. He and his brother were invited to Windsor in 1860 for the Queen to look them over, and he and Alice quickly developed a connection. On a second visit in December, the couple became engaged. Following the Queen's formal consent, the engagement was announced on the 30th of December, 1861. The Queen also negotiated with the Prime Minister to get Parliament to approve a dowry of £30,000. The wedding was scheduled for the following July, but the death of Alice's father threatened to derail the plans. The Queen, despite her intense mourning, insisted that the wedding would go on as planned. As that was Prince Albert's wish, it would, however, be a much more somber affair. Queen Victoria even wrote to her eldest daughter that Alice's wedding had been, quote, more of a funeral than a wedding, end quote. The couple was married on the 1st of July, 1862, in the dining room at Osborne House on the Isle of Wight, England, which had been converted into a chapel for the day. Following a brief honeymoon elsewhere on the Isle of Wight, the couple returned to Darmstadt, Grand Duchy of Hessen by Rhine, now in Hesse, Germany, where they were giving a small house in the old quarter. This caused much distress to Queen Victoria, who held very high expectations when it came to residences of her children. With significant financial support from Queen Victoria and Alice's dowry, construction began on a new home to be called the New Palais. The couple will take up residence in a new palais in 1866. In the meantime, they were also given a castle at Karstein, where they spent much of their time. Alice and Ludwig had seven children. Princess Victoria, Marchioness of Milford Haven. Princess Elizabeth, known as Ella in a family. Grand Duchess Elizabeth Fedorovna of Russia. Princess Irene of Hessen by Rhine. Prince Ernst Ludwig, Grand Duke of Hesse. Prince Friedrich, known as Fritti in a family, 
Princess Alexa Hesse by Rhine, the future Empress Alexandra Fedorovna of Russia, and Princess Marie, known as May, in the family. Once in Darmstadt, Alice tried to find ways to help those less fortunate and attempted to learn as much as she could about the lives of ordinary people. One area of particular interest was nursing. Seeing the need for improved medical care, Alice befriended Florence Nightingale, who gave her suggestions and ways to help those in need. Alice embraced this role and worked tirelessly throughout the remainder of her life. During the Austro-Prussian War of 1866, and again during the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-71, through 71, Alice focused on wounded soldiers, making bandages, and visiting the injured, and visiting the hospital wards. These visits would continue for the rest of her life, and she often brought her children along, hoping to instill that same compassion in them. Tragedy struck the family in 1873. In February of that year, Alice's second son, Freddie, had been diagnosed with hemophilia after a cut on his ear took several days to stop bleeding. On the 29th of May, 1873, Freddie and his brother Ernst Ludwig were playing in their mother's bedroom at the New Palais. Ernst went into another room to look through the window, which at an angle to the window in Alice's bedroom. While Alice was out of the room to get Ernst, Freddie climbed up to the window in the bedroom to try and see Ernst. From all accounts, the chair he had climbed on tipped over and Freddie fell from the window to the ground below. Due to his hemophilia, Freddie died from his injuries. Over time, Alice's relationship with her husband had become somewhat strained. Despite their mutual love for one another, their interests were quite different with Alice being much more of an intellectual than Ludwig. In the early 1870s, she befriended the theologian David Strauss, as she shared many of his views on religion, and some of which were quite controversial at the time. Strauss also offered a more intellectual bond than her husband was able to provide for her. However, following the death of her son in 1873, Alice began to return to more of her traditional religious beliefs, distancing herself from Strauss. Her relationship with her mother was also very strained at times. While initially having a very close relationship with her mother, the two often became estranged, often due to Alice voicing her thoughts and opinions, which usually differ from those of the Queen. However, Queen Victoria did remain devoted to Alice, and particularly to her children. After Alice's death, Victoria spent a significant amount of time with her Hessen grandchildren, helping to ensure that they grew up with the proper guidance. Ludwig's father died in March of 1877, and three months later, his uncle, Grand Duke Ludwig III, also died. Ludwig and Alice became the reigning Grand Duke and Duchess of Hessen by Rhine. Alice continued her efforts in nursing, now having a much stronger position and wish to bring about changes. Unfortunately, her time would be limited as tragedy would once strike again. In November 1878, the family began to fall ill with diphtheria. Alice quickly slipped into her role as caregiver, nursing her husband and children back to health. Sadly, her youngest child, Princess Marie, succumbed to the illness and died on the 16th of November 1878 at the age of four. Alice tried to keep the news from her husband and other children until they were in better health, Eventually, she told her son first, Ernst Ludwig, who was quite devoted to the young May. She broke the one rule of nursing, the horrible illness. She comforted her son with hugs and a kiss. Soon after, Alice herself began to fall ill and was also diagnosed with diphtheria. Her condition quickly deteriorated in the early morning hours of the 14th of December, 1878, the 17th anniversary of her father's death, Princess Alice, Grand Duchess of Hessen by Rhine, died at the New Palais in Darmstadt, Grand Duchy of Hessen by Rhine, now in Hesse, Germany, at the age of 35. She is buried in a new mausoleum at Rosenhol Park in Darmstadt, alongside her husband and two of her children. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification button, and be sure to be on the lookout for videos I'll be releasing in the future. Anyways, guys, have an amazing day, and thank you for watching.